Winnipeg nonprofit Sleep in Heavenly Peace is capping off its first year in the city with its 50 Days of Giving campaign to help provide children in need with a bed to sleep on. Here now to talk more about it and how the community can help is Winnipeg Chapter President Jim Thiessen. Jim, thank you so much for joining me. Well, no, my pleasure, believe me. Can you chat a little bit about what Sleep in Heavenly Peace Winnipeg is? Yes. Essentially what it is, is it's an organization that builds and uh, provides um, handmade beds, twin-sized beds, uh, to children in need, children who do not have a bed to sleep on, between the ages of 3 to, and 17 years. That's a pretty niche thing to be helping people with. What kind of stories do you come across as you're helping people get beds? That's the incredible thing about this, or one of the incredible things about this program, I think, is that every uh, installation that we do, when we build a bed, we provide that bed complete with a new mattress, new bedding, um, and we install a bed in, in the uh, family's home, and so that a child can literally crawl into bed and, and go to sleep if that's what they want to do after we're finished. Um, and what we're finding is, is that each one of those installations has its own unique story. Uh, the very first installation we did, for example, was for a family, a, uh, a woman here who had been living in Winnipeg, um, but was from Sudan. And she had uh, finally was able to sponsor her, her sister, who she hadn't seen for, uh, about, I believe it was something like 10 years. And uh, this uh, sister of hers, who was coming from a refugee camp with her two sons, uh, arrived in Winnipeg with nothing, as you can appreciate. And her sister was putting her up in her home, but uh, didn't have the bedding, the, the required beds for her uh, for the for the boys. And so, uh, when we were there installing the uh, the uh, bed, we learned that. Uh, for example, that these uh, children uh, didn't have this type of uh, situation where they were living in the refugee camp. Uh, I was expecting that the boys would ha be happy to see that, and they were. They were over the moon. But what I wasn't prepared for was the uh, the emotion that that the mother showed when she was when she saw the beds installed, uh, and and realized that she was actually going to be able to now provide something to her her children that she hadn't been able to for years. Every installation has a unique story to it, and that's. Uh, that's what drives us, I think. You've got uh, some an extra little campaign going on for the end of the year. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We now find ourselves with a total of 50 bed frames, but we don't have the mattresses or the bedding to go along with those frames. Of course, everything now again has, has shut down because of the restrictions. So we as a group, I have a core group of about 18 people that, that uh, work with me here and or help me with uh, Sleep in Heavenly Peace. They're all volunteers. We discussed as a group how we could deal with these last 50 days, November 12th to the end of the year, uh, of a very, very difficult year and try to make something good out of that. We came up with the idea of 50 days of giving. So essentially what we're, we're trying to do here in these last 50 days of, of uh, 2020 is raise uh, the funds or donations in the form of new bedding for the 50 bed frames that we have. If people wanted to get involved, wanted to help, wanted to donate, how exactly do they go about doing that? Well, they could contact me personally uh, on my uh, uh, Sleep in Heavenly Peace email. It's jim.thiessen at shpbeds.org. Or they could contact me by phone. And uh, my, uh, my number is 204-509-2007. Go on to the website to donate if they, if they would like. Our website is shpbeds.ca.